Rocket Pat here. Alright guys, this is another hot rocket day in the jungle. It is a beautiful Texas day. Man, so what we are doing today is we are going to play with Sketchy. And let's go over what we're going to do. Okay, you already heard the story about doing the interior and got it all uh, pour 15 and painted up and everything. So we've done that. Got the dash sanded off and, and all so that I can fix the rust. Oh, 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 excuse me here. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, yeah, that's about how you judge how many pieces you need. So anyway. <laughs> when I did sand this down, this is what I found. And that's not too bad. Not too bad, but it is just, yeah. So what I'm going to do today is I am going to cut this piece out and I'm going to fit a new piece in there and hopefully by the end of the day I have this all fixed up and bondoed up and ready to go rocking and rolling and rolling and rocking. Uh, but yeah, got a little bit of work to do on the dash before I can put some paint on it. Now, what we're going to do for paint, I don't even know what color I'm going to paint this car. But you know how they would put wood grain on everything? We're not doing that. But we are going to do something cool. Or I think it's cool. So what I'm planning on doing is, just like I did in Leroy, I'm going to go get some of that plywood. That kind of wood right there. And we're going to make some door panels and some kick panels to go down here. And I'm going to probably take it all up there. I don't have the garnish molding for here, 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 or here. I think the guy might still have it. Uh, he said something about having it. Uh, so I'm thinking about going over there with about 500 bucks in my hand and say, hey man, I know I kind of got you on this car because this car is in really good shape compared to, com compared to what it could be in the general crap that I generally get. So uh probably gonna go over there and see if i can rescue the rest of the garnish molding if not man the people who have two garnish moldings for the door and i haven't found the quarter glass garnish molding yet but they want an arm and a leg for these garnish moldings i mean an arm and a leg so I'm hoping that the guy has the garnish molding. He did say that he's missing one. I believe it's one of the doors. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. But uh, plan is, is that I'm probably gonna start out instead of doing black paint on the, the wood grain. I think I might stain that kind of like the inside of my camper is. And then on the dash, instead of painting it black or red or anything like that, or trying to do that uh, wood grain, I got another paint technique I'd like to do, possibly, on this. And y'all tell me what you think about this. Okay, so this is just a test piece I did. This is a, it's black with some... Uh, it's gonna have then I, I took the black and then I took some uh, gold spray paint and I put it on a piece of uh, which like newspaper or something like that and you know just did the old dot technique thingy oh and then I sprayed over it with some uh, this is actually red tail light paint out of a rattle can but I've got some oh so sexy red that I was thinking about doing and doing this whole technique right here. Sorry, I got the sun in y'all's eyes, don't I? Doing this whole technique across the whole dash, or I may do the whole thing, see how I like it, okay? And then if I don't like it over the whole dash, I'll do charcoal gray up here and then leave this as an accent going across the dashboard. That's what I, one of the two, either way, I don't know. But right now, I got some rocking and a rolling and a rolling and a rocking to get done because it is not gonna cut itself out of there, bend a new piece of sheet metal and weld itself back in there. So y'all keep rocking and a rolling and a rolling and a rocking. I'm gonna get started grinding it down. 
talk to y'all next time.